In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a black and white to color transition effect. We'll start with a monochrome image and then gradually add color to it. It's important to note that you must start with a fully colored clip. So let's start by dragging this i02 image file to the timeline. This is a beautiful landscape image with vibrant colors. We'll convert this to a monochrome clip, which simply means we'll make it into a black and white clip. So select the clip and click on the Image tab, and then select Color Correction. Now we'll drag the saturation bar all the way to the left. We now have a monochrome image. Now we'll add the same image beside the first image. The second image will be our colored image. Now that our clips are in place, we need to gradually transition from the monochrome to the color image. We do this by adding a crossfade transition between the two images. So from the transition and FX menu, let's drag the crossfade transition between the two images. Let's preview our work. That's all there is to this technique. The technique is simple but very effective. Now there are many variations possible. If you want the image to simulate a sunrise, simply increase the duration of the transition to 3 seconds. Let's go ahead and do that. When you do this, the crossfade transition completely takes over the two clips, which means the transition now spans the entire duration of the two clips. Now let's preview. This looks more like a sunrise than a monochrome to color transition. Now sometimes you may face a situation where you need to fit the video to a music score. Let's say you needed a 12 second video segment to fit the video to the music. So all you need to do is change the duration of both the images to 6 seconds. We leave the duration of the transition at 3 seconds. However, you can increase or decrease the duration of the transition to get a more subtle or pronounced effect. Now let's preview the clip. Well, I think this is an interesting variation to the previous technique. Now let's try to apply the same effect to a video clip. So let's go ahead and clear the timeline. And from the Creative Techniques folder in the library, Let's drag the hot air balloon clip to the timeline. One thing to remember is that this technique looks better if you do not have too much movement in your video. So this balloon clip is an ideal choice. Now place your cue point at 4 seconds and cut the clip at this position. Cutting the clip has split the video into two contiguous segments. The first segment will be our monochrome clip, so let's lower its saturation all the way to the left to make it a black and white clip. Now all you need to do is add the crossfade transition between the two video clips. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and preview our work. So you can see this technique works equally well on video clips. Many more variations are possible. In the first variation, you can reverse the effect and go from color to black and white. And in the second variation, you can combine this effect with the freeze frame technique which combines an image with a video clip. So have fun and go give it a shot.